Oye, dayo. Onanite dayo. Caso que gaika donio do agu tu kinya ni amudenya o mude. Ya tango nyo kafi. Musera wa baria muita. Muy buena puya baria marigo. Caso que gaika goi de kahuno a baria mukuga. No amudenya ni juga ni dayo. Mi de aso que ya gaika donto do ave. Uti tena bena gu subscribe. Channel ya nyo kafi gana. Omude dina mugeni. Na this month being the mental health awareness month. Tenda toyi horo wa mental health. Na utana kinyo to utana kinyo kwa kwa horo wa mental health. Dile ile kadabe tu menye mugeni ito eta guwati ya. Wei dayo. Dayo. Mhm. Nda aso kia gado. Wamba iba. Koje tago kwa wako. Mhm. Nye de. Wangesi wa wajuke. Moga bigi ya wabali ya masabia. Mhm. Wamuza nyanju ya gade. Nye da. Nye da. Agadhi ya mati kwa kwa mali iki. Kutiri ya. Tenda tego koro tu. ตาบอยมุดีดาวกูจะบอยไม่โหรไม่โหรเต้โหรดีเนี่ยมากระตุ้มมากินบอยมาที่ดาวอีเซอร์มาที่อนาคตเนี่ยแม่น่าจิโร
you having bipolar, mm -hmm. you having PBD, mm -hmm. you having anxiety, you having ADHD, mm -hmm. you cannot do that. Mm -hmm. because, but out here we have we become our own psychiatrist. Mtu atenda apange mayai na sate nwe, mindi na kwa mbeno kwa no CD. This is not a CD, I just like mm. my things. My things that in a certain way. way. Okay. But in, in, in order to diagnose anyone, even mm. yourself, mm -hmm. you have, it has to be done medically. Okay, medically. what I was trying to ask is, so suppose, okay, the other one is the Peleke Hospital. The Vitugani is supposed to be noticed about me or my son or somebody dio sasa unajua wezi dio sasa uambie mtu you know what you need to so you did need to go and do some some check up nini what are those traits like nini ni mtu anakuanga anafanya unaona huyu mtu ayuko na ama yeye mwenyewe unaona hii maybe i'm eating too much i'm sleeping too much i'm getting tired of, like what what are the the signs okay. the general symptoms that i know that uh, red flags, let me call yeah, them red, red flags. flags. Mm -hmm. In anyone in mental illness, you become sad. Mm -hmm. Rarely do people become happy when they have a mental disorder. You become sad. Mm -hmm. And when you become sad, you start having thoughts. Mm -hmm. Let, let's say suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. some, some people, they will even start feeling unloved. Mm -hmm. And it's not like you're actually unloved. Mm -hmm. But you feel like people who are surrounding you, mm -hmm. they don't, don't love they me. Don't love me. Mm -hmm. Again, you start feeling like you are disturbance. Mm -hmm. When in Zigo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You want to exclude yourself from from people. You feel when I go somewhere, mm -hmm. I, if it's a party, it will be a party pooper. Mm -hmm. They don't want to see me around that place. And if I be at that place, mm -hmm. you just want to be alone. Mm -hmm. Another one that people actually ignore, loss of interest in coital activities. Mm -hmm. Like you're this sexual person, mm -hmm. but all of a sudden, you don't want to. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Not because like people say you have a partner from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Just your mental state is not okay, okay. to do it. Like I'll just in conclusion, just anything that can make you mental, just say no. Mm -hmm. And choose to say yes. Mm -hmm. You just need to go and get like, checked. Kama uliko unatoka job, ukitoka job unaenda unacheza pool kiasi. Alapu pengine unaenda unawashi bono, unaenda ukitoka job. You just go straight yeah, home. You just go straight home, mm -hmm. and instead of like we are used to, when you get home, you have a chat with the, ch with the children, your partner, mm -hmm. you take a shower, you cook. This time you just get home. You're not hungry, mm -hmm. or if you're hungry, you just want to eat junk food. Mm -hmm. Junk food, and then you just don't even want to take a shower. You just want to sleep. Okay. Even too tired to even get to sleep, especially for a condition that's called ADHD. Mm -hmm. People, not, people have a tendency of not wanting to sleep. Mm -hmm. or wanting to sleep too, too much. much. Okay, now that you have mentioned ADHD, and people know, my fans know that I have a son who has ADHD, na nilikuwa nimewa promise, nita leta mtu a shed light on ADHD. So, ADHD na mental health, zinaguzani ya wapi? ADHD and mental health, mm -hmm. the ADHD is a mental condition with itself. Mm -hmm. I like calling it a chronic condition, mm -hmm. not necessarily a mental condition. Mm -hmm. uh, Nasemanga, people who have ADHD, we are, we are unique. <laughs> sure we you are, are unique mm -hmm. in some type of way. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason as to why ADHD is among the mental health mm -hmm. is the activities that these people with ADHD actually do. Mm -hmm. Not like a normal person who has no mental disorder. Mm -hmm. You'll find a person with ADHD, just like the, the definition of ADHD, mm -hmm. attention deficit, hyperactivity mm -hmm. disorder. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to find this person who has ADHD, they want attention. Mm -hmm. They want fully attention. And for adults, if you ask this adult who has known themselves as ADHD, their language of love, mm -hmm. most of them, they will tell you touch. Mm -hmm. They just want their partner mm -hmm. to give them that touch attention. Mm -hmm. For children, mm -hmm. they don't want their parent or their caregiver to leave them for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. They want to know that. I want to know where my mom is. Mm -hmm. I want to know where my dad is. Mm -hmm. Even if they're in the washroom, I want to be outside there because I Waiting. feel yeah, the attention that I want, mm -hmm. I'm getting it. Okay. Yeah. And hyperactivity is just making me either talk too much, mm -hmm. jump too much. Jumping a lot. Yeah, too much. Mm -hmm. Personally, at work, you'll find these moments uh, at work, no one is 
that is willing to talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. You just have that Monday, mm -hmm. Monday mood. Mm -hmm. I'm always the clown of the group. Okay. Everyone is having a Monday mood, mm -hmm. but I'm the clown mm -hmm. of this group. I'm so hyper. Mm -hmm. And when they all want to be hyper, you want to I don't them. want this hyperness. I just want to be left out. Do you want, like, you, you like to doing things in your own way, like, okay, um, you don't move to the crowd. You tend to move against the wind. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So when the crowd is going right, you are just going left. Yes. Uh. And that behavior actually, it costs us a lot. At least I was speaking on the people of mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It costs us a lot. Mm -hmm. Because we, all, we, like, we like to win. Mm -hmm. We like to lead. Mm -hmm. You having a son, you might have none. I know. We like to win mm -hmm. and we want to lead. The right person might be going right, doing the right side, but I know mm -hmm. he or she is right, mm -hmm. and I will move to the left, the wrong way, mm -hmm. so that I will not be the one not win. Mm -hmm. I want to win mm -hmm. my own way, even if it's the wrong way, mm -hmm. I will have to win. You have to win. Yeah. Okay, attention deficiency hyperactivity disorder. Now, can you talk about this attention? Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you know attention, the, what I've noted about uh, the attention deficit part, you want people around you to give you attention, but again, you are yourself, your attention span is this small. Why? I think it's, it's just the disease itself. Uh -huh. First, we, we need to know it is deep. Uh -huh. It has no, it's not like, it's like more uh -huh. You can say like, because of uh -huh. It's a condition. It's a genetic, mostly genetic. Uh -huh. Um, it caused by a brain injury when a child is young mm -hmm. because they did diagnose in childhood, mm -hmm. 12 years and below. Mm -hmm. It will be hard to diagnose it when somebody is already in teenage. Mm -hmm. Also, when the, a mother was pregnant with a child who was into alcohol and smoking, mm -hmm. they're going to find this child with grow to have attention mm -hmm. deficit and activity disorder. Mm -hmm. But yes, our attention span, it's very small. Mm -hmm. We cannot concentrate on one thing. We find it boring mm -hmm. because we want something that is going to make us feel hyper at the same something time. Something is going to, to excite yeah. you. So if I see mm -hmm. this thing A mm -hmm. is giving me the hyperness, mm -hmm. I concentrate in it for like 10 minutes, mm -hmm. it becomes boring. Mm -hmm. I will go find something B mm -hmm. that has the new mm -hmm. that I've not you're That's why it will be easy for people in ATD to have hobbies. Mm -hmm. And it's not like hobbies we actually want. Mm -hmm. it's just today I feel like I'm a writer. Writing makes me feel good. I will write and write. Then tomorrow, mm -hmm. ah, writing is actually boring. Today, I'm a, I can actually draw. Mm -hmm. I've done that myself. I've walked into supermarkets. I buy everything that's meant for drawing, but I, I, I can't draw. Mm -hmm. Just but I just feel mm -hmm. drawing is awesome. I saw somebody drawing, mm -hmm. it felt good. Mm -hmm. I also want to do it. Mm -hmm. Two days later, mm -hmm. I can't do this. So in short, you, you don't have permanent hobbies? Like we hobby do, stage we do not like hobbies, but mm -hmm. talents. Mm -hmm. The talent that you're given. You find somebody who can do. Personally, I can actually write. Mm -hmm. I can write a lot mm -hmm. because I know that's where. Your passion, your passion is, is and your talent is, but it gets boring. Okay. I find myself I even say, ah, actually, I'm an outdoor person, which I'm not. <laughs> I start looking for adventures, mm -hmm. hiking. After a day, ah, uh, because I really can. Mm, you're done. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm done. That's why it's even hard for us to keep friends. Okay. Because you find friends, they want to keep on going out, mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. some, some type of things. And for us, going out for a day, mm -hmm. Do you That's like fine. get bored by crowds or something? Yeah, yeah. like the first thing I entered here, I told you I like, the, I like the environment, mm -hmm. it has no noise, it, it's just cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, most of if adults, I'm speaking on behalf of adults mm -hmm. who have ADHD, mm -hmm. we don't like, personally I don't like public places. transport, public mm -hmm. places, I mm -hmm. get anxiety mm -hmm. whenever I know I have to go somewhere that has a lot of people. I have to prepare myself mm -hmm. prior. Mm -hmm. prior Psychologically. To, yes, but I have to go mm -hmm. use a matata which has more than 14 people. Mm -hmm. Go into a place that have a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I have to do this and this and this. Mm -hmm. But again, in children it can be hard mm -hmm. because they, you must give them what they want. Yeah. But for an adult, mm -hmm. you have to adjust. 
Yeah. For kids, adjust. for kids, they go somewhere and they get bored, they start throwing yeah. tantrums. But for an adult, mm -hmm. you have to adjust. Okay. You have to know I have to go to mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. I have to learn, I have to go to work and see these people from 8 to 4. Okay. I have to deal mm -hmm. with the emotions. Mm -hmm. And if it goes bad, I release my emotions mm -hmm. and move on regardless. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, coming to your story, because from there you're talking, it looks like you've been living with ADHD. <laughs> Uh, how was your childhood? Uh, my childhood was more like a mature. <laughs> hey, you a mature, mature daddy. childhood. Mm. A mature childhood. I, I, I cannot recall a day like my own parents, mm -hmm. like were, were, were like you are to Israel, mm -hmm. which, I, which I appreciate because that's their own way yeah. of raising a child. Mm -hmm. The day I was there, when I myself did not understand what exactly, mm -hmm. what exactly I had. Mm -hmm. But I knew uh, I had an uncle who actually made me understand at that young age you have this condition. Mm -hmm. But I was like, ah, I don't get it. But thank <laughs> you. Understand. <laughs> thank you for telling me I don't understand, but thank you. <laughs> but what the least I can remember that this ADHD made me do as a child, mm -hmm. I never listened. Mm -hmm. My mom would get things from relatives, neighbors, friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The stigma. Yes, I've you gone through you that. Mm -hmm. Because I can, I could tell my mom, and I do tell her until I not like I want. No, mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. You can do it yourself. <laughs> I don't want to, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's it. That's fine. That's it. Mm -hmm. You will take me somewhere, maybe in church, and I'm like, nah. Oh, this see. environment, boring. I start telling my mom, to end it. Mm -hmm. I will not whisper. Mm -hmm. Tantrums. So you when your mother church? Yes. Mm -hmm. Twenty home. Nataka kwenda home. Mm -hmm. to, I, I actually remember it reached a point. My mom stopped going to church. Oh my, my mom stopped going to church. Because I kenda church, I kineta, I kineta nyumbani. Atapata nyumbani ni sakas. Mm -hmm. Kenda kanisa ni sakas. Mm -hmm. Again, as I progressed, I went to school. Mm -hmm. In school, it was it was also hard to adjust. Because in school you have to obey, it's a rule. It's a rule in our African schools. Mm. You have to obey. And not obey, you have to obey the teacher. Yeah. Even if you feel whatever this teacher is telling you, mm -hmm. it's wrong, according mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. It's wrong. Okay. So I find it, I all I did collide with teachers a lot. I collided a lot mm -hmm. with teachers. Mm -hmm. I remember in high school, I actually I was suspended and I never saw it as a big deal. I actually called my mom. You may post suspension. <laughs> it was like, ah, okay. And I went home as if nothing, nothing had happened. happened. When you are going back to school, for those who have been having in African schools, you must go with the parents. With the parents. So it happened that this deputy mm -hmm. wanted us to apologize to her. Huh? Everyone else apologized. Mm -hmm. I went into that room and I was like, ah, no, mm -hmm. I'm not apologizing to mm -hmm. you, you, you. Because the mistake was we went home. Mm -hmm. Which was closing then, yes, we went home, we were supposed to go home. Mm -hmm. But people we had failed, that time we had failed, so we were told to remain in school. Okay. I told my mom, there is no I'm remaining in school because I failed and people are going home. Mm -hmm. My mom and I went home. Mm -hmm. When coming back, I was told to apologize to the deputy. I'll never forget her, Madam Boy. Mm -hmm. I looked at her and I told her, I'm not apologizing. <laughs> so she was like, let's go home. And I took my bag. My mom told me, apologize. You know the way parents yeah, talk. They want, yeah. They may pass school fees. Mm -hmm. no. yeah, I just looked my mom at my mom. I took my bag. And I was like, meet me at the gate. Uh -huh. My mom actually remember that day. She cried mm -hmm. in public transport. But I was like, I cannot apologize for something. I don't feel like it's a mistake. And you don't even know what you did. Exactly. Uh -huh. I never felt like going home mm -hmm. was a mistake. Yeah. Actually, even today, I've never felt like I was punished for something I did. Mm -hmm. So my man, my mom went home. He called my uncle, the one that understands me. My uncle came and we talked. I told my uncle, I pro promise you that I, if I go back to you, I will not apologize. Oh my. I will do everything, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to apologize. Mm -hmm. So the next day, my mom we went to talk to the teacher. Mm -hmm. The teacher told me, if you're not going to apologize, I'm going to be beaten. Fine, beat me. But I'm not apologizing. <laughs> they had to kill me. My mom. 20 cans mm -hmm. and the teacher mm -hmm. 20 cans okay. and I was given a punishment 
And I did. The teacher kept coming coming to that farm every morning five a.m. Mm -hmm. Karuna, you're not going to apologize? No. Did the punishment and continued with my life as if nothing happened. Also, people with HIV, we tend to question. I don't know if you have that with your son. Yeah, I know. We question everything. Authority questions. Exactly. Now that was me in school. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know why. Mm -hmm. Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to go to church mm -hmm. every Sunday mm -hmm. and I don't feel like mm -hmm. going to church? Exactly. Why do I have to wake up in the morning? Mm -hmm. Just for me to go and sleep in class. Mm. You don't have you and you don't have from to. form one to form for those who are in school with me, they know I was punished for missing morning preps. And not because I don't I didn't want to wake up, but mm. why was I? Mm -hmm. I was against mm -hmm. this waking up in the morning. Mm -hmm. So growing up was hard. Mm -hmm. But right now, as I tend to interact with different people, mm -hmm. it's becoming harder. <laughs> harder in an easier way because <laughs> you have to accept people mm -hmm. as they come mm -hmm. and realize you're actually not alone. Uh -huh. You have to live like you're actually living with people. Yeah. yeah. And how was your performance in school? I would say my performance was great. Mm -hmm. Performance was great. all through primary school. Mm -hmm. It was great. Mm -hmm. you, know, the way, you see the way parents take their children for tuition. You have to wake up your child five take them to school. Mm -hmm. That's something my parents, actually not me, my parents said, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. I used to go to school eight. Mwalimu wa kingia. Unaingia na yae. Eh, tutana uza mwono mkuja class, mwiliza baba yangu, mwemi sijuu. Because, mm -hmm. mini liliamushu wa 7.30, so sijuu mwona ni mekuja shule sahi. Uh -huh. It was all, I performed, I went to school. Mm -hmm. Moranga getuhe. Mm -hmm. High school was school. was was nice too, mm -hmm. and here I am as a firefighter EMT. So yeah, it's so a great. At what age did you did you have that? Did you did you come here when I did HD in high school? Uh -huh. Form two, so you were around fifteen years. Exactly. Yeah, in high school and I was in form two around fifteen, sixteen years. Mm -hmm. That's when I knew mm -hmm. I actually had a condition. Around from one there, my desk mate mm. told me, I don't, we, ha we had an argument mm -hmm. and I treated her in a very bad way mm -hmm. because I was so angry. Mm -hmm. And then the next hour I was cool with it. She, she was still, mm -hmm. even thinking even where she is right now, but I'm in mm -hmm. But for me, after that hour I was okay mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. I moved on with my life. Mm -hmm. So my classmate started with me, you have bipolar. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, I have I have something, but because of the small knowledge people have about mental health, you only know bipolar, mm, anxiety, and depression. depression. Mm. So I was Nikona, I'm doing bipolar. Nikona bipolar. So I'm like, yes, Nikona, bipolar. Mm -hmm. Until I sat with somebody else who had bipolar, I'm like, ah, ah, I'm not behaving this. Mm -hmm. This cannot be. Mm. I started now doing research mm. of the signs I had and conditions. Mm. And something that people na siyama talk sema Google ni ezakuwa. That would be to me. Google they are gonna hit me by polar, BD, a lot of conditions through Google. Mm. I was like, ah, ni me cheesy like this. <laughs> I even started excluding myself in school because mm. I felt I have a lot of things mm -hmm. and I was hurting people. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But after I finished high school I went to college. Mm -hmm. After going to college I started working. I remember the day I first got my first salary, mm -hmm. I went to, to see a psychologist. Mm -hmm. Because all through college, I felt nobody was understanding, understanding me. Mm -hmm. Because these people, they want to sit in college, scream, go out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Missy Angel, and I said, Oh, Naringa, I'm like, ah, ah, mm -hmm. sitaki, mm -hmm. sit in Naringa, sitaki. Mm -hmm. So I had to go see a psychologist. Now the psychologist has taken me three steps. Mm -hmm. And I was done the mental test again. Mm -hmm. And now it was told I have ADHD. Okay. I looked for the uncle who was trying to, to inform me about this ADHD when I was young. Mm -hmm. They're saying, yes, that's the condition you have. Mm -hmm. You had actually been diagnosed earlier. Okay. But right now, mm -hmm. you understand it, you live by it. Mm -hmm. I was yes. given medication. Mm -hmm. I took the medication for two weeks only. 
on me. Mm-hmm. And I felt I can't do it again. Uh-huh. Because the medications were working mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. I was not the one doing, mm-hmm. doing this. I was given the medication too. You were given the medication at all. This medication is going to make you stop. Stop eating too much is going to make you mm-hmm. not feel like sleeping. Mm-hmm. But then I decided the medication should not work for me. Mm-hmm. I started now adjusting as a human being and dealing with the science. Those medications, are they the ones we call mood stabilizers? Yes, the mm-hmm. stimulants. Are they supposed to make you less hyperactive? Or? Yeah, they're supposed to do, mm-hmm. to counteract your, your symptoms. Okay. You're supposed to make you normal? Yes. Mm-hmm. Now I felt they are working for me. I'm okay. not the one who is putting the effort. Okay. They were, I take a pill. Mm-hmm. If I was feeling sad, I become less sad. Mm-hmm. It's the pill which was doing the work. Not you. Not me. That's mm-hmm. why I even tell people, if you have to take medications, mm-hmm. you just have to know why you're taking this medication and also put effort. Mm-hmm. Not whenever you feel sad, you run for that pill. Mm. It's going to, whenever you, f- you will take this pill, or you're going to be in a place you can't access. Mm. You're going to be a mess. Pill, you're going to be a mess. So basically you, you advocate for people not relying on medicine to, yes. to balance their emotions. Yes. I think we belong to the same school of thought because I also oppose the same for my son. Because I, I, I decided that I'll let him grow up and learn to balance his emotions without relying on any, any form of medication. Because... You know, uh, medication still becomes another addiction, no? Yeah, yeah. It will be because you're going to be an addict. Yeah. Because you all you want to be normal. We all want to feel mm-hmm. normal. Mm-hmm. So if I know I have this pill mm-hmm. that's going to make me normal, mm-hmm. I will keep on taking it mm-hmm. I feel, until I feel I'm normal again. Mm-hmm. And as you know, ADHD is a chronic condition. It's a lifetime all, thing. All your life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you cannot deal with this. For your whole life, mm-hmm. they're taking pills. Okay. Yeah, there's a point. There's some point you're just going to go into therapy. Mm-hmm. Start dealing with it. Deal with it yeah. on your own. Yeah. I think that's the best, the best, the best option. Uh, about anger management. <laughs> what is ADHD and anger management? What's wrong with ADHD? Because my son cannot contain, cannot control his anger. I don't know whether that happens to you. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. It does. Actually, it does. Even now. As an adult, mm-hmm. it does find your anger. You don't want to react a certain way, mm-hmm. but you're forced to react mm-hmm. this way because I feel if I don't draw this to you, mm-hmm. I'm going to feel bad. <laughs> and if I throw this thing towards you, mm-hmm. I'm going to calm down okay. because my hand wants to move towards you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, if it moves, mm-hmm. I'm okay. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't, mm-hmm. I'm not, not okay. going to be okay. So you just feel like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But anger management is something that can be managed. Mm-hmm. It, it can be managed again through therapy or having somebody to take you through, not necessarily a therapist, mm-hmm. just a family member, a parent, mm-hmm. to make you understand like it's okay, you're angry, mm-hmm. it's okay, you feel hurt, mm-hmm. but it's not okay for you to, to, to react mm-hmm. this way because the, the other people they also have feelings and mm-hmm. their feelings do matter mm-hmm. just like yours matter. Okay. Because I think that's the, the challenge that I'm having right now, controlling my son with anger, because his anger is usually over the roof. When he gets angry, it's like, he's, he, and then, and strength. Why is there so much strength? <laughs> it's not even feeding, it's true. Why, why, why is there so much strength? I, I, I will tend to disagree. It's not actually true that we have that strength. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. It's a feeling that, that makes you get so strong. Yes. Mm-hmm. That you feel I can push mm-hmm. a wall mm-hmm. because I'm so angry mm-hmm. and I want this anger to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. So it will be easy for him mm-hmm. to take something and, and to tell you anything mm-hmm. because I feel I'm angry and you deserve whatever comes to you. Okay. And I'm not sorry that. I'm angry. I'm angry. You did what, what you did. did. Even if I provoked you, mm-hmm. you did what you did. And I'm angry that I'm angry. And I'm not sorry that I threw see. whatever I threw. Okay, <sighs> okay now I, I can see up on the kibano. <laughs> so, and what about emotions, ADHD and expressing emotions? ADHD and expressing emotions. Mm-hmm. I will say it's hard. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm speaking on my side since I'm not a psychologist or anything. On my own, it's hard. Mm-hmm. Having to sit with somebody and actually talk about what you're going through, mm-hmm. 
it's mm-hmm. it's not something we know you know, mm-hmm. we know. Mm-hmm. like personally i'm not a good conversation starter mm-hmm. i will have a lot to say mm-hmm. but i will want you to do the talking to initiate mm-hmm. this conversation mm-hmm. even if you don't know how to I expect you to mm-hmm. and expressing the emotions and tell you that i'm sad mm-hmm. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. I will let you see that for yourself, but mm-hmm. you will never find me mm-hmm. telling you oh, na scale na mm-hmm. No. Personally I do sh- shut off everyone mm-hmm. and everything. Switch off my phone. I don't want to do anything. Not go to work and I, I don't expect you to reach out. And I don't want you to reach out. Because if you reach out I'm going to see if I'm a bother mm-hmm. to someone mm-hmm. and that's not going to help you. like you don't like being pitied or something okay. i don't want to see you tell me that you're strong mm-hmm. i know i'm strong but at this moment mm-hmm. i choose to be like this so let me be. okay now let me be. even if you feel i need help mm-hmm. don't tell me i need this help i know but i don't want to as i said earlier people with adhd we like to win Mm-hmm. We like to win. So if you tell me that I'm losing, mm-hmm. that I actually need someone else to come in mm-hmm. and tell you you are going to win. It's it's not something you take lightly. Mm-hmm. You always like to be at the winning side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. Let's take a short break and then we come back and continue talking about ADHD. Okay. Mm-hmm.